you probably think your app is safe. I mean, you followed all the tutorials, used all the best practices, slapped in some middleware, rate limited your API, and even remembered to hash your passwords. Look at you go. But I hate to break it to you. There's a good chance your app is a flaming security dumpster fire, and you just haven't noticed the smoke yet. But before we start, please like this video and subscribe to become a fellow code head. All right, back to the video. Let's start with the most common problem, trusting user input like it's your childhood best friend. Developers love to assume users will play nice, but the internet is full of gremlins who will absolutely try to send your login form emojis, SDUL injections, and 16 megabyte image files just to see what breaks. If you don't sanitize every form, every query, every upload, you're basically handing out your database like free candy. Ever heard of the Bobby Tables meme? Yeah, that wasn't just a joke, it was a PSA. And before you say, I use an ORM, congrats, so did the people who got breached last week. Then there's dependency hell. You know that one innocent looking package you installed to format dates? That might have pulled in 47 other libraries, one of which is being maintained by a guy in a cabin who hasn't touched a keyboard since 2019. Vulnerable dependencies are the easiest way for attackers to sneak into your code. Log4 shell, anyone? That wasn't even the dev's fault. It was a ticking time bomb buried in a logging tool everyone trusted. And if you're not scanning for these vulnerabilities regularly, your app is basically sitting on a landmine with a kick me sign. Hey Quagmire, watch this. Hey. Let's not forget the gold medalist in developer laziness. Hard coding secrets. Yes, I'm talking about the AWS keys, the JWT secret, the database passwords, just chilling in your repo like it's no big deal. You might have promised yourself you'd rotate them later, or that it's fine because the repo is private. Spoiler, private doesn't mean invincible. Mark, look, I made a stake. A stake? Yes. One leaked screenshot, one junior dev pushing to the wrong branch, and boom. You've gifted the internet your infrastructure on a silver platter. Now, if you're thinking, all right, I've got a CI pipeline, I've got unit tests, I'm covered, I've got bad news. Most test suites don't check for security issues. They check if your code works, not if it's unhackable. You might catch a null pointer, but you won't catch an open port or an unvalidated redirect that sends users to malware arias.biz. Security isn't something you bolt on later. It's not a checklist you can breeze through at the end of your sprint. It's more like hygiene, skip it for a week, and everything starts to smell. What makes this worse is the breakneck speed of development today. Everyone's shipping fast, MVPs, feature flags, hot fixes at 2 a.m., and security is always the first thing sacrificed at the altar of velocity. We don't do proper threat modeling, we don't review code with security in mind, and we definitely don't pause to ask, what if a hacker clicked this button 5,000 times a second? We just cross our fingers and hope prod holds. And the kicker? Even when you do care about security, the tools are a nightmare. Static analyzers flood you with false positives, dynamic scanners miss edge cases, and let's not even get into how awful the documentation is. It's no wonder most devs just give up and pray. Which brings me to the real problem. It's not just your app that's insecure. It's the entire ecosystem we build in. We were taught to code quickly, not securely. Nobody told you that writing clean code wasn't the same thing as writing safe code. But guess what? The hackers definitely know the difference. So if your app feels like it's running fine, congrats. So does a car without brakes? Until it doesn't. That's why smart teams don't wait for a breach to think about security. They bake it in from day one. <laughs> Nice. And if you're wondering how to actually do that, especially without blowing your whole timeline, well, that's where tools like Quiet AI come in. Quiet AI is built specifically for developers who are tired of bloated security tools that slow you down, flood you with false positives, and expect you to be a full-time security analyst. Instead of relying on outdated pattern matching or surface-level static analysis, Ooh. Brother, ooh. Quiet uses multi-agent AI and something called a code property graph. It's like a super intelligent map of your code that actually understands how data flows, where it touches, and where things can go horribly wrong. That means it doesn't just scream about every little issue, it finds real vulnerabilities that actually matter. And it's fast. On top of that, Quiet provides context-aware autofixes that are smart enough to suggest real solutions without blowing up your code base. And your code stays safe, it never leaves your environment. So if you want security tools that feel like a dev superpower instead of a punishment, go check out Quiet AI. The link is in the description. Thank you for sitting through yet another tech rant, and if you enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe to become a fellow codehead.